Welcome back to part two of my personal... You know what, actually, whoops, fuck with the camera here, just a second. It, there we go. Welcome to part two of my top 13 favorite horror... Horror films... Either way, we worked on the title in the previous video. If you've yet to check that out, there are links and such. And we shall move on with this list. Number nine, we got ourselves Dracula Dead and Loving It. I grew up in the 90s, and Mel Brooks, unfortunately, was winding down. He got older. He slowed down quite a bit. But he directed two films in the 90s. One was Robin Hood Men in Tights, one of my personal favorite Mel Brooks films, because, granted, they're not the best, this film and the film I'm going to say. But I grew up with them, and they have a special little place in my heart, like many of these films do. And... The title I'm talking about for this spot on my list is Dracula Dead and Loving It. Just the accent alone that the great late Leslie Nielsen portrayed Dracula, it's just so fucking hilarious. The man was a comedic legend, the same with Mel Brooks, still a comedic legend, working in front of and behind the camera one last time with Leslie Nielsen. Anything from... Uh, Anything that came out of their mouths was gold in this movie, in my opinion. I really laughed a lot. I really enjoyed their performances, as well as the supporting cast. Uh, all Most of the names escape me, but I believe it's uh, the two leading ladies in this movie were Amy Yasbeck, who was in the previous uh, Robin Hood film there for uh, Mel Brooks, and Peter McNichol, who was his sidekick of sorts, Renfield, and, uh, yeah, just so many people escape me right now. And Mel Brooks is fucking Ben Helsing. Just awesome. And Dracula, played by Leslie Nielsen. Just, just the accent, though. I remember one funny line where he was explaining to his assistant, Renfield. Just saying, look at Renfield, I'm me. I'm drinking. <laughs> Fuck, I fucked up the line. What a joke. How did he go? Ah, I feel like such a moron right now. Um, but I'm owning up to it. How did the line go? Renfield, I'm drinking vine and I'm eating chicken. It would be funnier if you probably see the movie, but I'm just saying that cracked me up every time because of his accent. It was hilarious. Long story short, um, Leslie Nielsen and Mel Brooks in one movie. Fucking awesome. And The Legend of Dracula couldn't have gotten a more hilarious point of view. Not since Twilight didn't that, didn't that happen as well. So, yeah joke aborted because I screwed that one up. Speaking of jokes that many people probably got sick of, it, and my number eight spot is Scary Movie. Generally the first three. The other two do not exist. Four and five don't exist to me. I enjoy the original trilogy. The Wayans Brothers did such a great job spoofing all things horror. And then the guys from Airplane, David Zucker, Craig Mazin, and some of the original actors and actresses from the first two scary movies came back, mainly Anna Faris and Regina Hall. Um, granted, the first one is the best. It just is, in my opinion. And people shat on these movies way more than they had to. I think they're hilarious. When you do a parody or spoof film right, and you make me laugh, you did something right, And in my opinion. And I think... Granted, Slapstick is not up there comedy with the Judd Apatow's, and even some people think Judd Apatow comedies are stupid, but hell, if people love Dumb and Dumber, why not this? Dumb and Dumber, yeah, it had a better story, I understand that, but the crassness, the vulgarity, the over-the-top Slapstick was definitely there. Why not? Why so much hate for Scary Movie, guys? Why? Why? Because they made us sit through four and five. I get it. Uh, let's see. Uh, lost my place. Ah, number seven. Scream. The entire franchise is a lot of fun to me as well. I even enjoy three to an extent. I believe the first one. It's just yeah. The the first one is so iconic. We had the new killer of the '90s, a new iconic horror villain, Ghostface. And you had a very strong uh, heroine in the film, played by Neve Campbell. And 
making stars out of her as well as David Arquette who played uh, Deputy Dewey as he's called in the first film and Courtney Cox who played Gail Weathers I mean such iconic horror characters nowadays especially with the fourth one that was released a couple years back I really enjoyed the characters I love the humor in there Jamie Kennedy as uh, Randy uh, um, so many good things about this movie. It's got its comedy elements as well as its horror elements. And the slasher horror uh, genre was revamped once again with the meta humor that this brought. And it was so iconic for its time. The first one is definitely the best and definitely fun to watch. Number six, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Not the shit remake, no. The iconic character of Freddy Krueger portrayed by Robert England and directed by none other than Wes Craven. Wes Craven directed the Scream films. I, I seem to I think he's probably my favorite director in the horror genre. He has a good sense of humor in some ways and hell he was in a Jay and Silent Bob movie. That's fucking awesome and although my soul to take, come on Wes Craven, he didn't need the money that bad. Um but Nightmare on Elm Street created a star out of Robert England, and the guy was amazing to go through all that makeup for years. The sequels are very subpar, but the third one was even at least a little bit close to matching the originality from the original film because of the such a unique Inception-like plot that went on in that movie, and uh, I, I say that very loosely. It's nowhere near that intelligent, but for a horror film from the 80s, I really enjoyed that sequel and as well as the new nightmare uh but without stalling anymore it's a great terrifying look into what can happen in your dreams if you're a teenager seeing this for the first time back in the 80s i couldn't imagine how many people couldn't even sleep that's a terrifying thing to think about but such an iconic awesome villain character for the horror genre And we shall move on to number five. Sam Raimi is hands down one of the best directors in general. I think he's really talented and I think he's got such iconic movements in his direction. And him and Wes Craven are just so tied in my opinion, in my head, tied for best horror directors. And um, of course I'm talking about the Evil Dead franchise, but mainly Evil Dead 2. This was a movie that really solidified, you know what, not all horror films have to be terrifying, peeing, making you pee your pants type movies. These movies can be very funny as well as very demented and conscrewed in the horror genre type way. And everybody of course has praised this for years and decades at this point, but Evil Dead 2 is a horror comedy masterpiece and arguably the best one of the bunch. But I have a few that just barely beat it. Other than that though, Bruce Campbell is fucking the shit. He is a badass. He is just just so epic in those films. And I'm really hoping they'll make that Army of Darkness too. And I believe I'll stop there as well. This will be part two of my list. Hope you all enjoyed this portion. Don't mean to be so sporadic, but uh, I really don't want to make this too long as I said in the previous video so without being more redundant and so on and so forth feel free to comment below what you thought about my picks thus far as well and we'll see you in the next video.